Welcome to Bill's Bridge Tip of the Day, Monday, February 25th, 2013. We're starting a new subject today, but we've covered some of this about two weeks ago. Defensive bidding. The objectives when you do an overcall are a little bit different than when you're making an opening bid. Let's look at an overcall and some of the objectives. We're not so much looking for game and all, but it, in priority sequence, we hope, first of all, we may be able to get a successful part score. If we can't do that, maybe we can help partner in the defense, get him off to a good opening lead. We might find a sacrifice if the opponents might have game or not, so we can find a way to uh, minimize the, the damage. We might drive the opponents too high, in which case we can get a positive score by setting them. Not only is the last resort is our objective to make a game or even possibly a slam. That's really quite a ways down in the list of our priorities. Criteria for an overcall. Suit quality is probably number one. We want to have a good suit. The better the suit, the less strength we need in order to bid because we're safer. Remember that when we overcall, we know little or nothing about our partner, but they know a lot about the opening bidder because he opened. Next is vulnerability. If we get doubled, we could go for a number. So if we're vulnerable, we need to be a little safer than if we're not vulnerable. Thirdly is the hand pattern. We have a choice of of bids and we covered some of those already. We've got doubles, we've got uh, top and bottom Q bids, we've got unusual no trump. We're going to cover some other two suited bids down the road starting tomorrow. But hand pattern may decide whether we're going to overcall or not. And our defensive strength versus our playing strength. Generally speaking, when we jump, we are suggesting a preempt. When we're not jumping as an overcall, we're, we're just showing a, a good suit. More criteria. If you bid, do you want partner to lead your suit? If you bid a suit that's headed 10 high and you get him to lead the suit, it may not be help you, helpful unless you can get the contract yourself. What preemptive power does your bid have? Not only if you're going to jump or not, but the position of the bid. For example, if you overcall a spade over a club, or you overcall two clubs over a diamond, you're interfering with the opponent's bidding quite a bit. You're eliminating several potential bids that the opponent can make. That may end up in a positive score because they will get too high or get to the wrong contract. Uh, as opposed to if you make a simple overcall as the next suit up, you're not eliminating many opportunities for the opponents. You're not going to have much impact in interfering with their bidding. Yes, you can bid a good, and I underlined the word good, four-card suit, if you bid it at the one level. That's one of the newer things that you see today in, in competitive bridge. Uh, you want to avoid selling out if you have defensive strength, even with a weak suit, and we're going to hit a few hands like that today. What are the requirements? In general, they're lower than the requirements of an opening bid, especially at the one level. You can have even less than eight high card points if you have a good suit and the suit is spades at the one level. Consider other action, however, to an overcall, as I said, based on the strength and hand pattern. Maybe you want to do a double or top and bottom cue bid or some other bid as opposed to the overcall itself. And if you're very strong, extremely strong, it's dangerous to overcall. You could part might pass and you could miss a game. So be careful with those very strong hands. You may want to take some other kind of action. More requirements. At the two level, it's almost an opening bid. Usually you have a six card suit, and especially if vulnerable, you want to have three of the top five honors because you can get doubled and go for a number. Pay attention to playing tricks and the solidity, solidarity of your suit. That's almost more important than high card points. I'm going to go through some examples. I think we have 12 examples we're going to go through. Here are some typical one-level overcalls. 
bid a club over a spade with this hand. You have more than enough to bid. Hand number two. Over a club, you can bid a heart. You got a six card suit. It's only nine high card points, but it's a decent suit and a six card suit. You have this suit. Five good spades. You can bid a spade over almost anything. I would not double with that hand. We'll talk about that in a minute. With this hand, you don't have a lot, but spades are the top dog. So over a club, bid a spade. It's all right. It'll interfere with the opponent. Some more examples. Now here's an example where you have a pretty good hand, but you only have a your five card suit is pretty weak. Spades. You still want to bid a spade over a club. Yeah, your partner might lead a spade, but you can't just pass and they're gonna they're gonna get a positive score, whatever we do. We we have could compete in spades or even at a at a minor suit. Here's another hand. The five card spade suit is kinda sick, but you've got ten, thirteen high card points over a club, bid a spade. Next hand, you have five spades. You've got junk in this hand. This hand has a bad suit and not really good quality. This is a good hand to pass. Here you have a uh, five card heart suit, 13 high card points. Over a club, bid a heart. You may have a problem, but it's worth next hand. You have only four spades, but you've got a pretty good looking hand here. At a one level, you can bid a spade over a diamond. That's fine. This hand. You have a pretty fair looking heart suit. you got five diamonds. When they bid a diamond, you can bid a heart. One thing I'd like to point out, and this is a theme that you'll find repeating itself. When you have several cards of the opponent's opening suit but no honors, the chances are that you will find a fit with your partner because he's likely to be short in that suit, which means he's more likely to have cards in some other suit, maybe your suit. So it's more likely that you'll have a heart fit here. And take the next hand. You have four spades. The points and the distribution are the same as number 10. But over a diamond, you only have two diamonds, you bid a spade, you still need to compete. And understand you're less likely to find a fit. Why? Because you're short in the suit that they bid. Diamonds. And 12. This has got 12 high card points. And I guess you need to compete over a diamond you bid a spade, but understand that this is a risky proposition. You could end up getting only two or three tricks. You'd probably get three tricks. In the worst case scenario, uh, you could get double, especially vulnerable. You still got to take the chance, but understand it's more risky. Four more hands here. Here you have three, six, nine high card points. Spade suit isn't that great. Over a heart, pass. You just don't have enough. Spade suits aren't strong enough, even strong enough. Now here you have Ace King Queen of Spades, Queen Jack, uh, third of diamonds, A open over heart. Now you can bid a spade. If spades are good, but you are four. You're a pancake here. Four three three three. At at match point, you're probably going to bid for a spade. At, at the very least, as a defender, you'll get off to a spade lead. Your partner will leave spade. But at imps, you may want to pass because you're not likely to get too many tricks. You could get three spades, and that could be it because you don't have any distribution. And 15. Your spades are a little better here. You've got 13 high card points. Your spades are bearable. Over a heart, you can get a spade, but it's a little risky, but it's probably worth doing. And 16. You've got a lot of points here. Over a heart, it's better to double. If he bids spades, fine. If he bids a minor suit, you're fine too. You're better off to double because of the distribution of the hand layout itself. Overcall. 
tomorrow we're going to hit a new subject jump in the opposite minor this is a new convention we're going to present tomorrow jumping in the opposite minor stay tuned for more